<laughs> the reason I'm making this video is because a couple weeks ago, I found a Reddit thread asking basically, what is the coolest website that you found that nobody knows about? And the posters in this by coolest, for some reason they thought meant most stupid. And that's how I ended up finding a website that's just called crouton.net, which is just a low res JPEG of a crouton. Also, all of the websites that I talked about in this video will be linked in the description so you can check them out yourself. The interactive websites, I kind of put on a broad term, it's more just kind of an introductory segment. It's interactive. First website that I found was one called sandspiel.com. It's one of those sandbox apps where you can put sand and then like drag water and it sounds super boring, but I wasted three and a half hours playing when I first found it. So it's a time waster, but it's fun to just like mess with all the elements and stuff and see how they all react to one another and it, you get so sucked into it. And then also they have like a browse feature where you can look at other people's creations, but they're all just the exact same 2D art that somebody made. It's always different art, but when you scroll, it's always the same picture in almost every single one. It's it's really, I don't know why that, why is that a feature? There's a, a website called Kung Fu Chess, which is pretty cool. It's like chess, it's not turn-based. It's, you can like go as many times as you want. The one thing with it though, is you can't do like rapid fire chess over and over again. There's a time limit on each one. So you can't just like spam to the end. But so it adds a, a bit of strategy and it's a completely different game than normal chess because I spent like no joke, 20 minutes on the first level, there's a campaign, by the way, on the campaign, trying to just literally just kill the king. It's also got AI versus and two player versus, which I also would highly recommend checking out. If you're tired of having to download sketchy, you know, you know, websites, whatever, want to play your favorite games, emulate them, there's a website where you can emulate games called playemulator.com and it works to various results. But you can play like any generation of console almost up to modern platforms. They give so many options. Next up is my 90s TV. Also my 70s TV. Also my 80s TV. Why did I do it in that order? So my 90s TV kind of tries to simulate what a TV would be like if you just flicked it on in the 90s. It will take YouTube videos and it'll import them and like start at random times during like 90s commercials, 90s TV shows. And it's pretty immersive, except you are on a Windows 10 computer and you can see the YouTube logo on top of all of them, so it's not really that immersive. Have you ever wanted to hack into the Pentagon and say, I'm in, and then push up your anime glasses and fire all the nukes at all the countries and just end it all? <laughs> that was a bad, um, there's a website for that. You can use a website, hackertyper.net. It lets you do the hacker typer thing, so that's pretty cool. That's the whole website, there's nothing to it. Sometimes though, when I'm using it, I'll hit too many keys, I'll turn off the keyboard, so I have to restart my computer because I don't know how to turn it back on because I don't know what I pressed. There's a website called Candybox2, which is like a weird RPG story game. It's so hard to explain. You like take candies and you can eat them, but then sometimes, but then you can like add a health bar and a map and there's a shop. Whoa. Whoa. But I found a website. This one's actually useful. It's called Radio Garden and you can tune in from a lot of radios across the world, which is pretty cool on its own. And you know, you can go, you know, Europe, America, if you're boring, you know, South America, apparently they made a sequel. Nobody told me, awkward. Canada, you know, Russia, Australia, Japan. Next topic of discussion. What am I, what am I doing with my hands? It's 1.30 a.m. The way I categorized web pages was basically just like, if it's got more than one feature, if it can take you down a maze of rabbit holes, there's no way I can cover these in full in this video, so I'm just gonna kind of speed through them real fast. The first website I'm gonna talk about today is called realultimatepower.net, and the first thing you see when you open the website is just a pop-up saying, are you ready to get pumped? Click yes if yes, click no if you're a little baby. So obviously I'm not a little baby, so I clicked yes. This website is a fan page dedicated only to real life ninjas. And whoever made this is so knowledgeable on the topic. As you can see, as they say things such as, these guys are cool, and by cool, I mean totally sweet. Fact, ninjas are mammals. Fact, ninjas fight all the time. Even when they're sleeping, I guess, all the time. Does not specify when they are not fighting. So I assume it is 
uh, eternal. Fact, the purpose of ninjas is to flip out and kill people. There's so much more to this website, such as merch, which is an, has a whole Amazon page to it. There's ghost stories. There's a hate mail section. There's sightings like it's Bigfoot or something. It's stuff like this you want to go through and look at, but also you wish you didn't know existed. So this next web page is like completely different from the last one. It's called windows93.net is basically like, it tries to simulate an old PC desktop and all of its applications. Some are simple than that because all of the icons and things, all of them are unique and like spin-offs or spoofs of the original. And there's so much to go through. Like you can tell these people really cared about this website. You can do stuff like change the filters, which really slows down the software, but it works. There's a real MySpace page that they recreated that has active users that you can go on and chat with other people, which is just bizarre. You can play four NES games on one screen if you want to do that for whatever reason. Half-Life 3 is actually released on this. However, it will never get past the loading screen, so that's cool. Totally not a virus. Trust me, I'm a dolphin. Oh. Oh shit. The coolest thing about this website is like the more you kind of like experiment with some of the icons and some of the apps, the more weird obscure Easter eggs that you'll show up with. So it's another fun one to just kind of like, if you're bored, just like spend an afternoon getting sucked into this website. I also recommend right now. I want you to imagine every single low res and shitty clip art that you've ever seen for any computer ever from the early 2000s. Now imagine if they all combined and created one website made up of just those images and you have cameronsworld.net. It's insane though how much work went into this. There's like different sections. You got fantasy realm, you got horny realm. My personal favorite, the ocean, which has such classics as dolphin, not applicable, email me, dolphin, killer whale, dolphin, shark, shark, dolphin not applicable angel what the and the deeper you dive into this website the more it feels like your brain is like melting inside of your head can't forget the road champs a love letter to the internet of old this one took an immense amount of effort and they clearly were very passionate what they made and with that said we need to talk about pictureofhotdog.com pictureofhotdog.com was actually created by drew gooden a fellow commentary i say fellow like i'm even in the same realm as him but by another commentary youtuber you can find this delicious treat alongside a handful of others only at pictureofhotdog.com a website i proudly made using today's sponsor squarespace it's a very creative ad read it's just it's it's a picture of a hot dog website and as he's done more ad reads he's added more toppings so obviously you got the classic you got ketchup you got mustard, you got pickle, you got sprinkles. They added basketball recently. We got we got the about section. It's a hot dog. It's captioned with hot dog. Testimonials. We can see such great input as, I like the hot dog. A guy said that. And then don't forget the statistics section, which is very important. Quantity, there is one hot dog. Length, average size. Weight, average weight. Age, rather not say. <laughs> Awards, none so far. Relationship status, hot dog. Any questions? I didn't think so. Information. What the internet was made for. The information highway is what the people who spent millions and millions of dollars on this thought it would be. But we ended up with crouton.com, which we will get to. There are some pretty cool, like, little informative ones that I found. One of them is called, what if the moon was the size of a pixel? So basically, it takes the moon as the scale of a pixel, and it shows you the distance and the scale of all other planets and the sun and the solar system. And it's really cool. You can kind of see, you kind of get an idea of just how far apart everything is. Following that up, we must ask ourselves, is DMX in jail? He is not. And this website makes sure that you know that. Another informative website is thebestdinosaur.com. It's just a picture of a stegosaurus, so that's kind of opinionated if we're being honest, but I'll let it slide. Get off the screen. Another cool one is one about the deep sea where unlike the moon where you scroll horizontally, this one scrolls vertically. 
and it kind of shows you how deep the sea really gets and it shows you you know on your way down how dark it gets what type of animals live there how deep it is and it, i i, I it, oh it's 1 43 in the morning i have a turtle.net is another informative one where you can learn how to say i'm a turtle in 62 languages we're going to end this section off with definitely.com and the sole purpose of which is just to figure out how to spell definitely the ironic part of this of course is the fact that in order for you to get to this website you would have had to type it correctly in which you would have already known how to spell definitely rendering the website itself useless but that's we're gonna move on to we're doing ai stuff next <laughs> People love using AI in just like the most useless ways imaginable. We're gonna start off with a simple one, AIDungeon.net. This is actually a cool one. They've got an app. It's kind of like a role play game, well it is, but you have full control of what you get to say. All you have to do is choose like a genre, choose a character and their name, and then it just sends you off. And you type out, as long as it's like a verb or like something you're saying, and it will just like completely fill it in for you. It's not perfect, but it's really cool. AI Dungeon.io, it's got an app, it's a website, check it out. So next up is actually a pair, even though the creators have nothing to do with each other, they're about music. So the first one is Eternal Jukebox, and all you have to do is just put in a certain song, and it will show you like different pathways leading to different spots. Basically what it does is it creates an infinite loop of the song. It'll play forever. The next in the pair is rave.dj, and this one allows you to take two YouTube links or two Spotify links and mash the songs together to create like a remix of both of them. It'll match what key they're in, it'll match the tempo. <laughs> So this is another AI based one, but it's a little bit different. This person does not exist.com. And all it does, you just type in the website, press enter, and it'll just pull a picture of a randomly AI generated face of a person that does not exist. It really looks like that person exists. It's very creepy and unnerving. And every time you refresh, it'll bring up a new person. The last AI website I want to discuss today that I think is the coolest, the most innovative website that I've talked about so far is my computer on.com. Somehow, the website is able to know whether or not your computer is on or off when you're using it. And when you type in the website, it will, it, there's no loading time. It'll instantly tell you if your computer is on or off. It's insane. There's so much just dumb shit on the internet. I can make a whole other video talking about all, there's so much more that I found, but I want to condense this a little bit. Shut up. How's it going? It's me, Future Nick. This buffoon forgot to record audio for this part of the video, so I thought I would switch it up for this section. Now, this is the miscellaneous section of the video, where basically any website that I cannot categorize into a single form is dumped in here. Yes, this is where the garbage pot is. Now, first off, we have Forgotify.com. Now, Forgotify is a website where you can look at Spotify songs that are either never streamed or haven't been streamed in a while. It sounds cool on paper and it's cool. It's a nice idea. There is a reason a lot of these artists are not featured. Next up we have medium.com. It's just an article, but it's a picture of like a really poorly constructed burrito. It's a fidget spinner and you spin it. That's the entire website. Qualls to the max.com. Now this website is one of those where you think it's going to be um, stupid and it is. Have you ever wanted to open a window? So did I. So that's why I went to open this window.com and right here you can see you can open and close a window at will. That's the entire website. There's no substance. Bouncing DVD logo.com is one of those websites where you can just watch an infinite loop of a DVD loading screen. It missed that time. Uh, it, uh, it missed that time. But is it gonna make it this time? Oh my god, it might make it. It actually might make it, everybody. It's gonna, it's gonna make it. It's gonna, no, it's not, no. Oh, it didn't make it. Oh, my acting is impeccable. Okay. <laughs> Twitter has a funny little feature where you can use emojis. Now, if you ever wanted to track in real time how many emojis are being used every second, you can go on emojitracker.com, which shows you real time emojis being used on twitter.com. It's all crying laughing emojis. So that makes me crying emoji. Newt.space. Newt.
Newt, Newt. Now, if you look here on the website, pleasepetdoge.com, you can see there's a picture of a doge. And if you use the mouse cursor to click on said doge, you can then pet the doge. That's the entire website, but it's pretty flipping awesome if you're, if you're being honest, you know what I'm saying? Welcome to crouton.net. Would you like a crouton? Okay, here you go. That's the whole website. So staggeringbeauty.com is one of those websites that seems innocent at first, but then when you wave your mouse around, you will get an epileptic seizure and die. Thank you for watching the miscellaneous section of wacky websites. Now, if this doofus right here can actually learn how to properly use audio, maybe I wouldn't have to do this, but I'm glad I was able to flip it up for you a little bit. Now, let's get back to the uh, the, the meat of it. Let's get let's get to the outro, I, I would say, I would say, I would say. That's what I would say. Yes, I would say that. Let's get to the outro. Let's go. And finally, the last website that I am here to talk about. The best website that I've saved for last. Imagine being part of the group that spent hundreds of millions of dollars to create the internet. Bill Gates, Steve Jobs, Tim Allen, Steve Allen, Mark Ruffalo, Don Cheadle, Chris Hemsworth. Why am I just naming Avengers? The final website that I'm here to talk to you about today is https colon forward slash forward slash www.jeff.com forward slash. The beauty's in the unknown. You have no idea what it was. All you know is that it's a blank canvas. So it could be whatever you think it was gonna be. This is the stupidest sending to video I've ever made. If you got this far in the video, thank you. I linked them all in the description for you to check out for yourself. I think a lot of them you can have a lot of fun with and mess around with. Let me know if you know any weird, bad movies that you'd like me to talk about or just any other topics at all. I'm pretty flexible. Uh, if you got this far at all, by the way, um, that's pretty epic, I guess. Share this video with just one other person. Why do you, what are you still doing here? Nobody stays to the end of these videos. Leap, get out of here, get out of here. But to all of you who stayed after I said that, this one's for you.